Canada Post's processing plant here in Calgary. This is a huge building, Jennifer. It is, it's really big. A lot of things get done here. We're looking at uh, some of the work being done right now. Tell us what this big machine is behind us. Uh, this is called the IMSS machine, and this is what sorts all our parcels that go all throughout the country, including in Calgary. Talk a little bit about how much busier you guys are this time of year. Yes, uh, this year we're really busy. We're expecting this one of our uh, top years. We're doing about 20% more parcels than we've done in any previous years. Wow. Yeah, since 2013, I think we processed 5 million parcels more than 2012, and we're expecting this year to be better, so. Unbelievable. When, uh, when we talk about um, shipping during the holiday season, a lot of people think, you know, they had to have their parcels in weeks ago, but um, that's not really the case. They can they can still get them in there for all you procrastinators and last minute shoppers. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you've got till December 23rd, so okay. if you use our Priority Courier and Express Post product, um, we can uh, you can ship till the 23rd of December. Wow, that's so, really good. So you're going to pay a premium for absolutely. shipping late, but at least it's going to get there. It's going to get there on time. That's yeah. really good news. Now, yes. uh, there's a lot of people out there who always wait till the last minute. What are some other tips you can give us, Jennifer, just about packing when it comes to packing your parcels so that you come it's ready it's you're not gonna have to redo it when you drop it off at the post office outlet or anything it's ready to go and it'll be safe okay uh, first of all pack inside really well with bubble wrap or any of the products we sell at our retail postal outlets okay. um, also make sure that you address properly uh, no strings or uh, strapping or ropes that stuff can get tangled up in our conveyor systems now the way we process parcels so please just use lots and lots of packing tape okay. and make sure that your address is correct and that your return address is clear. Okay. Um, so what, 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 when it comes to wrapping gifts, what if people want to show up with bows and ribbons uh, and all yes. that? Don't do that. Actually put it inside. You can definitely wrap your Christmas presents okay. in wrapping, but okay. make sure the box is clear of all that stuff because it'll get caught up in the machine or it'll get torn off. Okay. So make sure that it's nice and taped up. Use your packing tape really well and all the corners taped really well so it doesn't get caught. You mentioned a really good point before that I had no idea about, which was a lot of people like to reuse boxes. Yes. What's the key point when reusing boxes? Uh, we've got a new barcode technology that scans where your parcel is going by okay. address. So okay. if you reuse your boxes, just make Make sure that you either take the sticker with the barcode off the previous okay. one or cross it off so that it's not readable so that we don't send it to the wrong address it's got to have a, the most recent one yeah you don't want to send it to some wrong person exactly. that would be really embarrassing yeah. they think it's a gift for them and it's for a five-year-old <laughs> exactly. don't do that uh, what is your top uh, number one tip for, for people who are still getting ready to package things right now for the holidays? Um, just get into the post office as fast as you can. Um, we do have lots of extra trucks that we've ordered, lots of extra staff this time of year to uh, accommodate for the volume, but definitely get it in. And when there is those big lineups at the retail places, be nice to your Canada Post Absolutely. workers, right? Yeah, they work hard and they're they're long day, long hours. Long hours. They want to get the stuff out. Awesome. Jennifer's got some more tips for us too for the little ones when writing for, uh, some letters to Santa. Everyone wants to write a letter to Santa. We'll talk a little bit more about that coming up on Go Calgary.